This is the Windrunner, a proposed airplane that, once built, will be the biggest plane in the world. And no, this isn't just another crazy Lockheed concept. It's actually what? being built by a startup company called Radia, based in Colorado, and they haven't even designed an airplane before. Obviously, this project seems just a little bit ambitious, you know, an aircraft manufacturer that hasn't even manufactured any aircraft, just drops plans out of nowhere to build literally the biggest airplane ever known to man. I mean, look at this thing. We've got renders comparing it to football fields, obviously larger than a 747. I mean, look at this one. Apparently, it's going to be big enough to carry a literal 747. Wait, is that a C-17? I mean, it's gotten to the point where it's like, is this even believable? <laughs> Well, to make this thing any bit believable, we're gonna need to get a true grasp of what we're actually looking at here. You know, we gotta go over the basics of what Radia's Windrunner actually is, what purpose it serves, and of course, why Radia wants to make this thing absolutely ginormous. The main objective of the Windrunner is to be a freighter that can carry oversized cargo, specifically wind turbine blades. After all, Radia is a renewable resources company, so funding windmill production is probably pretty high on their priority list. Although apparently they can also transport a 747 fuselage. Okay, let's be real, I think this image is just for publicity. Basically, they want to build a plane that can transport these blades to remote locations. You know, most windmill farms are located in the middle of nowhere. And when I say remote, we're talking actually remote. Apparently the Windrunner is going to be able to land on unpaved gravel strips, which is slightly hard to fathom just considering the size of this thing. I think we should just take a moment to observe the shape of this airplane overall. Like, the cockpit is in its own little bubble up on top here, and then we've got, you know, the reverse windlets. This thing is just so oddly shaped. Somehow this thing is only powered by four engines, and I mean, I've seen a lot of comparisons to the similarly large Antonov An-225, which had six engines and was the former world's largest plane before it got destroyed in Ukraine. And by the way, this thing is supposed to be larger than the An-225. Oh my god. Although we have these ridiculous renders of the aircraft hauling like a C-17 and whatnot, it seems like the sole purpose of this thing being built is literally just to transport wind turbine blades. I mean, I'm sure it'll be used for other oversized objects as well, but it seems like these wind turbine blades aren't fitting on the roads anymore, according to Radia. So we need an entirely new airplane just to transport them, I guess? You see, I'm no expert, but why can't you just like build the blades on site? I mean, their website does look pretty cool here. Like you can see the blade literally takes up the entire fuselage. Although I feel like there's a lot of empty space here. Is that not uneconomical in the slightest? Don't get me wrong. Again, I'm no wind turbine expert, but don't those things have three blades, which means you're gonna need three whole flights just for one windmill to be put up. I guess considering this image here, it looks like they plan on making a whole fleet of these things. You know, it doesn't go all that fast either, does it? I mean, let's be real though. Look at this thing. I don't think it's built for speed. This isn't the boom overture we're looking at right here. I've also just noticed the payload here is about 160 pounds, which sounds like a lot, but considering an aircraft like the Antonov An-225, which had a payload of 550,000 pounds, yeah, maybe this thing might have to stick to carrying just turbine blades. Now, to be fair, putting the criticisms aside, maybe it isn't all that bad of an idea to build a super jumbo cargo jet because if you think about it the only other large transport aircraft that exists today are you know the c-17 the antonov an-124 and the 747 of course and those are all really old planes right like none of those are in production anymore so we're gonna need another large transport aircraft eventually right obviously cargo planes like the c-17 and 747 are planned to last well into the future but we're gonna need something new eventually so maybe it wasn't too bad of an idea to get a head start on this massive project quite literally massive Obviously, the elephant in the room is just how massive this aircraft truly is, though. I mean, having the title world's biggest aircraft is grandiose and all that, but I mean, we really gotta realize how big this thing actually is. Like, dude, this is a stadium. I mean, it makes the 747 look medium-sized. Now, as I mentioned before, it's probably not going to be carrying just wind turbine blades. Obviously, there's no way an airplane this large is going to be built, and it's just going to have one single purpose. As a matter of fact, Radio's website claims that the aircraft may also be used for defense purposes. 
Yes, even the US Air Force has taken interest in this project. I mean, this thing has the potential to outperform the likes of the C-17 and C-5, so it does make perfect sense that the US might want to add a windrunner to its Air Force fleet. I gotta admit, this aircraft itself looks kinda intimidating. Like, if this was in the Air Force, I'd be pretty scared if I was your enemy. Well, obviously it's just a transport aircraft. It's not gonna hurt you, but I, I, I think you get the point. The Windrunner's wingspan is surprisingly on par with that of the 747 or A380, but when it comes to the length, I mean it is in a league of its own. This thing is 356 feet long, and comparing that to the 747 which is just 230 feet long is just astronomical, and not to mention its height which is nearly 80 feet, equivalent to an 8 story building. Now the whole Windrunner project sounds great and all, but the real question is, does this thing actually ever get built? Like I said in the beginning, this is an airplane proposed by a startup what? company that has never actually designed an what? aircraft before, let alone a design bigger than anything ever built in history. Obviously, it's incredibly ambitious. I mean, we see ambitious designs come out all the time, and the past is full of them. One that comes to mind is the Soviet's Ekrano plan, which was a crazy design that was actually successfully built and even flown, although only one was built and it basically failed, so. Obviously, the ludicrous Ekrano plan is vastly different to the Windrunner. I mean, it was basically a boat with wings with a completely different purpose, but the point I'm trying to get at here is even if the Windrunner is successfully built and flown, it doesn't guarantee success. We've seen dozens of ambitious projects get crushed by the realities of the aviation world, and the Windrunner will definitely require a lot, both physically and metaphorically, just to get up into the air. In the end, only time will tell if this behemoth of the skies actually takes flight. With all that said, what do you guys think of Radia's Windrunner? Will this insane design ever be built? Do leave your thoughts down below in the comments. But with all that said, I do hope you found this topic as interesting as I did. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.